Thank you, Chair. Uh, Mia, uh, China has expanded its international engagement role towards peacekeeping, humanitarian and disaster relief. And in 2015, we saw the first non-combatant evacuation of Yemen. So why do you think they're doing this? Why have they changed tack slightly? Um, well, when it comes to Chinese participation in non-war missions like peacekeeping and humanitarian assistance, I think it serves a number of purposes. Firstly, from a reputational perspective as a, as a global power and a participant in the international order, obviously China likes to use this um, as, a, um, as a way to make good on their promise to provide global security goods um, as, as any other country does uh, in the UN and certainly as a, as a P5 member. Um, but from a military perspective, uh, and that's what I'll focus on, um, non-war missions like, like peacekeeping and counter piracy uh, do offer the PLA with learning opportunities. I don't think we should be cynical about this and say that they're only doing this for, for military learning purposes, but it of course is useful. Um, and I think that's particularly true when missions take place alongside other more experienced militaries. So in terms of peacekeeping, we've seen the role of their missions shift over time um, from more simple logistics to more complex um, uh, participation in, in active um, combat um, areas. Um, we, I think, have to remember that although China says that it's the largest um, P5 uh, uh, um, personnel contributor to uh, the, the, peace, the UN peacekeeping forces, um, that isn't necessarily true if we look at the bigger picture. Uh, from the bigger picture, China is the 10th largest contributor to UN peacekeeping uh, operations with roughly 2,545 personnel um, split amongst the various missions. Um, but from a learning perspective also, uh, only a real slight, a small percentage of PLA uh, officers are, are able to participate. Um, I think it's been calculated to be roughly 12% of uh, the PLA active service troops um, have taken part in peacekeeping missions abroad. So that learning is still uh, quite limited there. I think with regards to counter piracy, that is an area where uh, learning has been formidable. This, of course, has been done in an ad hoc cooperation with Western navies in the Gulf of Aden since around 2008, when discussions on China with China began on that. Um, and the PLA, I think, is learning more, uh, not just about uh, how to combat piracy, but also on how to raise the ability to perform missions on seas far away. And that was a quote um, from an National Defense University uh, Strat Strategic uh, Studies Institute uh, for the PLA from a senior PLA official. Um, they've gained knowledge on ship design and capabilities uh, for operation at sea at sustained periods of time, management of logistics capabilities, um, on the operation of um, uh, how to operate navies independently in uh, near combat operations, but also a lot uh, from our own navies about communication systems. And I find that particularly fascinating, how to communicate between ships and within navies. And um, so the PLAN particularly learned, for example, um, from a NATO-based comms protocols uh, and nomenclature and code words uh, during its uh, cooperation uh, in uh, counter piracy operations in the Gulf of Aden. So I think it's for a mix of reasons, really. And also, um, yes, yeah, Chinese uh, uh, Chinese uh, citizens are increasingly um, living and working abroad, and the PLA will feel a need to be able to protect them, um, as Charlie said earlier on in um, our discussion. The um, PLA are peacekeeping in Mali for the first time alongside British troops. In fact, British troops are commanded by a Chinese officer, and if necessary, they're going to receive um, British, uh, sort of Chinese medical care. Should we be reassured by this or concerned? Perhaps if I direct that to Charlie. Well, I don't think either. As long as um, our military makes sure that they keep their secrets, their sensitive equipment and their communications um, whole, then I don't see any harm in serving under a Chinese commander and uh, I, I think it's good for, for mm. international cooperation. So, um, you know, I, I, I don't find that in any way um, uh, concerning as long as they maintain the secrecy that they need to for the bits that they need to. Alessio, are you reassured also? If he's a professional, why not? I mean, the problem is whether he's got experience or not in, in this type of activities. And as Maya was pointing out, it's a relatively smaller 
uh, number of, of, of people within an office of serving officers within the PLA that have that kind of experience. Having said so, um, the People Armed Police has an incredible experience um, in terms of the UN deployment. They also have a school specific for training. So between the PLA and the PAP, the PAP actually have a degree of maturity. Um, in conducting themselves in international uh, operations that the PLA perhaps does not have. One small uh, sort of point to note in particular insofar as the ability of the Chinese to work with others internationally, it is worth reminding that they've got the longest standing continuous uh, um, maritime contribution to the international coalition fighting the kind of piracy off the Gulf of Aden. <sighs> that was a mouthful. Um, however, they are the only major contributor that never joins any international command structure. The Japanese, for example, in 2015, uh, made a jump and joined the CTF-151, and they've been uh, sort of in the rotation of the senior officers leading CTF. So in that sense, whether it is because of lack of experience, don't want to expose yourself too much, there is a certain element of that, even in a situation where there is an opportunity to grant greater sense of trust, welcoming atmosphere to work together, the Chinese still remain very reluctant uh, to join a broader international coalition. That's no judgment value, it's just a pure factual observation that in the longest running maritime security contribution that they've done internationally, never ever joined okay. the international sort of uh, interaction.